Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I love this design. The reason I love it is because a couple of years ago, before COVID hit the planet, I had a lovely trip to Japan. I fell in love with the beautifully clipped, neat and tidy bonsais, and I also saw a couple of toperies. This is one I saw as I put my eye through. They had these lovely fences and there was, I saw this gate and there was a round ring in the gate. And when I looked through in the distance with these beautiful trees, I saw this topiary, which was in an aged vintage urn and it had ivy growing out of it and these beautiful little mossy balls growing on it. And I was going through some photographs just the other day and I found it and I thought, I can't go anywhere, but I've got memories. And with my memories and now my visual, I'm going to create something like this for my lounge. And once you get the shape, you can do all sorts of things with that base. So what I've done here is I've got a vintage, well, it's not actually a vintage, it looks like it's vintage, um, silver uh, white, uh, champagne career or champagne bucket. And it's just the right size for what I wanted to do. I've got some ivy and I've got some moss balls, which I'll tell you all about. And I'm gonna show and share how easy this is to put together. Cause you know, not all, you don't always want a floral in a room. Sometimes just a little bit of green can just be very restful and calming. Now, if you don't have a container like that, what I have done here is, this is just one of my glass urns that I use all the time. It's been lots of colors. And the last color, one moment, I'll be right back. I wanna show you what I use to do it. And I'm very sorry that I didn't have this ready with me, but you know, I'm very excited. So this is Rustalum um, Universal and it's forged hammered paint and primer in one. That's what it looks like. And it looks like it's been, the metal's just been hammered and hammered and hammered. So you get this and you, you if you're stuck and you're not sure when you're buying it, just have a look at what's on this top portion of this spray can and it will give you the, an indication of what the effect is going to look like. So all I've done is it's just really rough, 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 given it a couple of coats and just there it is, and I love it. Right, the next thing is you need to, for the round topiary effect, you need to get something that's round. Now I've managed to find these hanging moss balls, and you can get them at Amazon with the other balls that we're going to use. So I thought that that would be a nice shape, and even though it's got that wee hanger there, I just put that down into the cavity. So it has to be quite, if you're wanting to move this around, what I would suggest you do is put a little bit of, of hot glue around there just to keep it in space but in place but if it's just for your house and it's going to sit on a table or, or wherever you're going to put it you probably don't need to do that now the next thing that I want to use into here is this is the new ivy that we've got here at Prestige Botanicals and I wanted single little ivy so what you can do is you can get into here and with a little bit of force you can pull the ivy apart so that you've got not one big one but all of these little ones and I've got a new whip series coming soon and I want to actually use a lot of the ivy so I'll be able to use the single on more than one of my designs. Some of it come out but it's like a good workout so just pull those apart and the other thing is that once you've pulled it apart if you want to reuse it you can put the bits back in there and you've got a nice bit of a nice ivy bush again. Okay so they've come out now then if you didn't have one of these balls you could use polystyrene and you can cover it in this moss which you can also get you can get that, that sheet moss you can or the single moss as this is you can just get that and you can just glue that or pin that or all over your baseball. Now, when it comes to the moss stones or balls, they come in varying sizes. I've only got a few of those left because I've used them in that one. And they, this is what the others look like. All different sizes that will be just fantastic for what we want to do today. First things first, I want to create a little bit of fall down the side. And the great thing with this ivy is, with that little bit of wire there, you can just stick that straight in to 
the moss ball, which is perfect. And the other thing when it comes to working with ivy, ivy's got a life of its own, so just put it in and let that just fall in whichever way it wants to. And you can clean it up and make it a little bit better, you know, you can neaten it up in due course. The other thing that you can do with it is you can roll it around the sides and using some wire, now this is a, a 20 gauge wire which I've just cut into, 20 gauge wire which I've just cut and formed into little clips and these can just be pushed into there like that so that you have a little bit more control if it's control that you're after. So just bend those in half and then just stick those directly into your moss ball like I've done there. Now I've got another couple of bits, this bit here, I think I might just put that into there and I might leave that just falling down there. Also I might bring a few up and into the centre, I should have done more. So just pull those out, they come apart quite easily, in fact I might want to use all of them, why not? That's what I'm thinking, if you're going to do a nice bit of still life, just do it. So they can just go up and into there and but I'm not worrying about clipping those down at this stage because once I get into it and I start putting the balls into it, it will be able to hold its shape. But even as a nice base for putting other forms into, I love its free form. Right, with the moss balls it's just a matter of I don't, where am I here? Getting your little bits of wire and then just sticking those bits of wire into the little balls like so and then these just get placed into the moss ball at the top and you could do them all neat and tidy if you wanted to or, I'm not going to do any more of that, I'm going to put that to there, just completely cover it as I have done with this one. And what I love about this one is I've used the two types of moss so that it gives a little bit more interest and texture. Now to this, if you wanted to use this as a base for just a little bit of light, I found these, these um, what are they, mercury glass little baubles which you could put into here if you wanted to and, and have those all neatly hanging down or if you, I quite like that idea and I will show you that but I'm coming back to this arrangement in due course, if you wanted to add a little bit more interest you could actually if you wanted just these little wee, the, the chocolate coins you could just put those in and amongst it as well just to add a little bit of visual interest. I love this as a standalone design. I hope for those of you who are look, have looked at these, have looked at this and thought, oh, I might like that. See how easy it was? That's me finished, and I will see you again another day.